Welcome to the hot, hot, hottest show on the internet. Talking mayhem mania. It's that season again when we uh, break hearts and make matches and do all kinds of crazy stuff. And we are in week four. Uh, with me this evening on Talking Mayhem Mania, of course, the OG originator of Mayhem Mania, Mr. Mainstream Matt. Hello, Chad. Pleasure to be here as always. Thanks for having me back. Of course, of course. And then we also have the Mad One, Mad Mike. Excellent to see you, sir. Excited for the Royal Rumble, as always, and excited for the stipulations contained within Mayhem Mania. We have a few, uh, I think we have a few prizes. Not Well, the prizes are still under wraps, but I think we have a few of the, uh, the uh, contest stuff that we'll be releasing here. And uh, Ronnie's also joining us this evening. He had uh, a it's uh, Wednesday, funny... you know what that means. It's Wednesday <laughs> in Ronnie's world. It's always Wednesday. <laughs> but Matt, we're going to do the same thing we've been doing the past few weeks. It seems to be the best possible uh, recap. Uh, there mm -hmm. were some moves made this evening. Some uh, a little uh, unique. I'll give them to you and you try to tell me who made them. All right. Uh, well, let's rifle through this because I'm excited to talk about the Royal Rumble too. Uh, I've got some betting odds I want to bounce off you guys here at the end. All um, right. I want to see what you think about the favorites and the, uh, and, the, and the underdogs, according to some very legitimate sports gambling websites. So let's <laughs> roll. Uh, this evening we had picks from George, Sorg, Ronnie, and Mad Mike. Ronnie had two picks this evening. He, he did his Alex Cars rule because he forgot what day it was last week. So. <laughs> And then we did a yeah we did a spin of the wheel to do orders. But let me tell you, uh, on the WWE side of things, the Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens versus the Usos match that took place on SmackDown was taken out of our our night one. Just not a creative enough idea anymore. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was on the right path. It, it you know we're going in the right direction. But it will get filed under. May have many matches that got that happened in real life since it was mm -hmm. created before it actually happened. Yep. So a victory nonetheless. Thank and you. And it was replaced by the Mysterios versus Los Letharios. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Jesus. Did George make that? He did. Oh, I did. Jesus. I swear he to did. God. Process of elimination. <laughs> so your streak, your streak of getting the first one at least every week is still intact. Amazing. Got him. It's impressive. It really is. <laughs> also, I know my, I know my flock. <laughs> also for WWE evening, uh, Roman and the Usos versus. Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, and Sami Zayn. Mad Mike? No. no. Go back on that? No. Oh, no. See? I've got your difficult one to track this year. I know I've said it every week, but man, oh man. Yeah. Who did Do that? you want to know who made that one? Uh, maybe it was Ron Starks, then maybe. It was. All right. It was oh, me. Oh, my goodness. I didn't want to over uh, two on that one, but I had to take the chance. Okay. Those are the only changes for the WWE night. Now, I did say uh, we have to kind of tweak our rules for graduating matches because we have so many with so few. I said we weren't really going to graduate any matches until after the Rumble. Very nice, very nice. So that way we're directly on the road to Mayhem Mania. Mm -hmm. uh, for the Forbidden Door evening, uh, let's see. We had... We had a swap. A one for one for one. Moxley uh, okay. versus Cardona versus Shane Strickland. Oh, okay. And then Darby Allen jumped down to take his place, and it's Darby versus Moriarty. Darby versus Moriarty. Okay, well done. All right. The, um... the rare swap. 
the rare in card swap. I love mm-hmm. to see it. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Maybe that was Ronnie. Was it Ronnie? Was that you? Too? Was that you again? No, you wouldn't no. do anything like that. What am I thinking? Oh, oh the disrespect. Uh, no. You know what? Maybe it was me, you son of a bitch. Or maybe it wasn't. <laughs> Ronnie, huh? what day is it? <laughs> it's Wednesday, god damn it. <laughs> uh, that was uh, Mr. Mad Mike. Mr. Mad Mike. I, I, I was thinking about Mad Mike, and I was like, no, he would never do anything that would benefit Darby. Oh, there, no. Well, so so my, <laughs> my logic for the match... My logic for the match was that Darby was not a former bitter WWE guy. Or okay. Strickland is. And he's got that fresh bitterness, too. Exactly. You, you know yeah. me, Matt. I gotta have stories. But I, I, well, maybe he has kind of done an Escape from Jail video. I'm trying to think if Shane Strickland has done an Escape from Jail video. Kind of. Oh, yeah, Murphy does. Yeah. Moxley well, definitely did. Sticking with that match, that match was altered after that. Oh my god. What a and mess. a wrestler was added to it. Giving Mad Mike the Alex Cars rule for next week. Cool. Cage was added. No, wait, no, Gage was added. Gage. Gage. Sorry. Gage. Wait, Gage or Cage? Nick Gage. Gage. Nick Gage. Gage? Yep. Nice. Was added wait, someone that. added it to that? Yep. Wait, who's left for me? Wait, it was Ronnie or Ronnie? I did add him, yeah. Okay. All right. Or the Podfather. Ronnie or the Podfather. I know Sorg loves the violence, but it seemed like a bridge too far for him. So good job, Ronnie. Of course, Nick Gage is not a disgruntled former WWE guy. No, I just wanted the King of the Death He is a disgruntled former been in jail guy. <laughs> he literally He's... escaped from jail. So I mean, I guess the theme fits. Ronnie so fits leaned the into match. the death match, the death yeah. match uh, mm. angle. Definitely, there's no doubt Shane can hang on that kind of a scene, also. So mm-hmm. yeah, no worries. We've seen there. Lucha. We've seen Lucha. Yeah, we've seen him do that. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Uh, so of course that move that made uh, you know Mister Sorg here had a move. Wait, let and, me think uh, of which which local wrestler. That he hasn't <laughs> plucked out of thin air. Elias and Corey Graves are spoken for. Moriarty's already on the card. Frost and Benjamin are already booked. We're running out of guys, Chad. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did he punt? Well, Did he punt for his move? Was he like, I'll do it next week? No. Uh, <laughs> no. Did another local guy to have a local tie? Do we have another local tie? Well, he took out Nightingale and Surreal. Versus Bussy. He took out the, the team of Nightingale and Surreal, and he added the team of Thunder Rosa and Brian Cage. It's an interesting pairing. Okay. Well, he wanted Will Ospreay, but then I had to remind him that Will Ospreay was in Space Jail and cannot be used. Wrongly incarcerated, as far as I'm concerned. But Oh, aren't they all? Aren't yes, they all? We're all? They're all innocent in Space Jail, Chad. Speaking of space shale, we did a roll of the wheel, and Cassie Lee managed to escape. We're halfway there. Will someone try to book her with a uh, proxy iconic for a match uh, next week? That's what I want to say. Who, oh. who, who could we find to be a, a proxy iconic for for Cassie Lee here? Paige. Will someone book? Will Chelsea someone? Bo- will someone book her with Sean Spears? That's what we all need to see. Those two together, you know. I mean, it's the first time he'd get over, so... The can Oz, <laughs> the can Oz connection, running wild. So, um... So that was that was all the moves. Lovely. It doesn't sound too difficult for the graphics department. No. So I certainly, certainly won't be scouring the internet for an entire week trying to find a useful picture of Tito Oric. And, uh... His match was... <laughs> that his Oh, of course! Apparently, I forgot his match was removed. His match. I don't know how removed. long. I don't know how long he's been in the business, but time for the dudes to get some nice, um, some nice pictures taken for the promoters. Maybe Matt, if you keep it 10. up, you're gonna end up like the rocker Chris Sands. You don't want <laughs> you know, that. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to give advice here. I mean, tell me I'm lying, George. Shouldn't these professional wrestlers? When you're a uh, Bosnian, when, nice when your name, when, when your gimmick is that you're a Bosnian who breaks bones, you do whatever you want. 
Don't you think these uh, professional wrestlers should get some glamour shots made at some but, point? In but their Matt, careers? Matt, he's not a professional wrestler. He's a professional bone breaker. Yes. Oh. That's that's the difference. When, when you break killed. his made when you break his made bones, Matt, he if he would yell at you in Serbian, if he would there. yell at you in certain Bosnian or whatever, like you 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 yes, you would just nod and say, uh huh, okay. <laughs> Because, yeah, it is a very harsh-sounding language, to say the least. <laughs> that was one of the funniest uh, Mayhem Mania bits I've, I've ever seen whenever the Lebanon Dawn started wiring money in the middle of the show. <laughs> I was cracking up. Just and like, Tito was using a translator. App. Tito using a translator. Great stuff. Yeah. Proud of you guys. Yeah. Glad we finally made some bank around here. So it's good, hey. to, good to see. I, I blew it all already, Matt. Yeah. Well, you should have saved right. it. You could have gambled some of it on the Royal Rumble. Made yourself. Yeah. Well, the one thing you, uh, the one thing I didn't tell you is that the the DEA's already seized all the money that the Lebanon Don gave all of you last week, and they used it to spend money on more uh, military police equipment. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> you say that uh, maybe you just gave it to us so we could launder it. Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah. And, 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 so, and, and so the government could get a whole yeah. bunch of bear cats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> uh, so what's going on with the Rumble, Chad? You, have, you piqued my interest, obviously. So I have a few uh, little uh, entries that people can put in for. But before we get to that, let's talk about these odds. You uh, brought oh, yeah, up yeah, the yeah, yeah. I got all sorts of stuff. These are these are coming from uh, my bookie. Um, Your bookie. My, no, my bookie <laughs> is uh, the website. So Of course. Uh, real real fly-by-night sure. operation. The website. Uh -huh. yeah, a perfectly reputable website. Uh, we start... www.mybasementdoor.com All right, well, we'll start with the Women's Rumble because I checked this earlier today and a particular name was not on this, was not among the odds. But guess what? Ronda Rousey is there now. Mm. And she is now oh, uh, number two favorite, I guess you would say, going at 450, plus 450. So I'm just going to do a quick... Um, Gonna do a quick like um, example. Quick run if I were, if I were, you know, if I bet five dollars on Ronda Rousey to win, I would make twenty two dollars and fifty cents if she won. If I bet fifty dollars on Ronda Rousey to win, mm. I would make two hundred and twenty five dollars. So etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. She is not the number one favorite though right now. The Who number is? one favorite is. Do you guys want to guess? It's more fun if we guess. Uh, I believe it's probably Bianca Belair. No, nah, Charlotte. Hmm. Bianca Belair is indeed the favorite right now. It that, that wasn't is... that way just a few days ago. Bailey was the favorite. Mm. She's not the favorite anymore. Now it's Bianca and Ronda ahead of her, and Bailey's the number three favorite. I, I'd take, take a flyer on Bailey. You take a flyer on Bailey? Maybe I'd would. take a flyer on Bailey. That that's oh, me. Yeah. We'll, that's we'll a dark to, horse. We'll, that's we'll a dark get to horse. my flyer that I now regret, but that's okay. Uh, number four, as far as the favorites go, you got Alexa Bliss going at plus 700. Mm -hmm. And you have Rhea Ripley at plus 800. And then you have the one I went with a few days ago before all these Ronda Rousey reports came out. Charlotte Flair was going at plus 1200. Where the hell's my to pick? Win. Jeez. Okay. Okay. I, I see that, though. I, I, I totally, see it. That's not bad. I totally see it. And I totally put a wager in on Charlotte. A five dollar wager in on Charlotte Flair to win, and if she wins, I make sixty dollars. Um, not quite Lebanon Dawn money, but yeah, we're trying. Money but, nonetheless. Um, now Rhonda's in the running. I'm gonna have to. I, I'm gonna have to double dip on this and, and see if I can. So if Rhonda, you... if Rhonda shows up, she is winning. So it's it's kind of scary. Um, let me see if I can get. Or you want to go? All right, your super long shots. Want here? You want some super long shots? What's the yeah? What's the long? What's the the oh, longest? Oh, hold on, hold on. The longest shot, Trish Stratus. Uh, no, I would say, Dana uh, Brooke. Dana Brooke's Dana Brooke, longest yeah, shot. Yeah, that, that was on my. Dana Brooke is a long shot. She's at plus ten thousand. Uh, that was. Or, uh, what's her name? I Aaliyah. Think, I don't think Trish is on here. Ah. Oh man, that's a shame. Paige teased coming back too. She did. Paige, Paige is not getting as long of odds as you might think she's only at plus 1600 but if you wanted to make a wager on the longest of the long shots at plus 25,000 uh your five dollar wager would win you 12 uh 1250 dollars uh because you 
would wisely be putting your five dollars on Stephanie McMahon to win it. Oh um, goodness, that is a long shot. That is a long shot. I, I um, think I think Triple H has better odds to win the women's rumble. Their daughters probably have better odds to win the rumble. <laughs> I think Harvina has a better chance to win the Royal Rumble. I don't see any of them on here. All right, let's go over to the men's rumble. I was just going to say, Matt, if you were to parlay your women's winner with a male winner, who is the favored male superstar to win the rumble? Well, let me ask you guys this. Who do you think is the odds favorite right now going at plus 350 to win the men's rumble match? AJ Styles. Biggie. Kevin Owens. George. Omos. Nice. Big E is the favorite at plus 350, narrowly ahead of Brock Lesnar at plus 375. Roman Reigns is the number three favorite at plus 800. They're really expecting a World War 397 ending. Because, because, as I feel also, that Brock or Roman is going to lose their title at the Rumble and then go into the Rumble and win the Rumble... To get the match back against the okay. other guy. See, I didn't say this on the main show. I think Brock and Roman are losing. Both of them? I think I think they're going to cost each other their belts. Mm. And they're going to eliminate each other in the Rumble. Then they can fight each other without the belts in the way. Exactly. And I think you're going to have Big E versus Lashley at Mania. And you're going to have Owens versus Rollins at Mania. And they get to have the Mania match that they never got to have. Wait, but that, that's pandemic. four SmackDown guys. Rollins isn't SmackDown. I mean, that's four Raw guys is what I should have said. Yeah. So yeah. what? Well, okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> right. WrestleMania uh, season, baby. Hey, pal. If I want it to happen, I'll have it happen. Uh, AJ Styles is among the... Favorites plus one thousand. I can get you the Rock for plus twelve hundred. No. <laughs> no. I think John Cena is better. Who's the long the shot? Well, Reggie? let's see. John Cena's at plus twenty five hundred. Yeah. Mm. Um. Let's see. Long What's Peacemaker at? Shane O'Mac. Yeah. Shane O'Mac. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, Peacemaker. no. There's no Peacemaker. You want the odds on Johnny Knoxville? Let me see if I can find Johnny Knoxville. Plus ten thousand for Johnny Knoxville. About Shane O'Mac. Cool. He's got to be the longest odds. Jay McMahon. You can get the same odds on Shane O'Mac as you can on Johnny Knoxville. Damn. Plus 10, wow. The longest huh. shot at plus 25,000 is Stone Cold. Ooh. Michael Ooh. Cole. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Undertaker. The Coal miners. Odds for Michael Cole here. Coal miners be betting. Coal miners be betting. <laughs> Coal miners be betting. I'm going to say, say Otis. Walter's at plus 4,000. Never heard I'm of that. I'm going to say Otis. Uh, no, it's thoughts. not Otis. No, 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 no. No, Otis would get better odds than that. Four Vince Otis? McMahon. You can get no. Vince McMahon for plus twenty five thousand. I could see. I can imagine a scenario where Vince McMahon wins the Royal Rumble this year. What? All, no all he has to do is get that twerp Austin Theory to do all the work for him, and then oh, Vince no. shows up at number thirty and orders Austin Theory to throw himself over the top. And right. th- and then he says, "It was me, Austin. It was me all along." Then he says, Maybe. "Get a selfie." I mean, in the in the um, I mean, that doesn't sound too far fetched. So maybe you want to take a flyer on. Uh, what are, are the odds? Are the... Austin Theory versus Shane McMahon at WrestleMania. What are the odds on Randy Orton? Randy, Randy's Randy's always a good flyer. What are we Plus doing? Fourteen hundred. Randy. Randy. I don't think it was where is Randy. I don't think they've Where's got Randy? odds posted for Randy yet. Wow, well, I'm going to need some odds posted for Randy. So he That's can... surprising, because Randy's always a, a decent option. Randy's oh, the is best plus, shave of his life. Plus 2,500 for Randy. Um, Same as know. Cena. And Edge, and Austin Theory, and Damian Priest. They all have, Edge, they're all going Edge ain't winning it. He's, he's yeah, Edge, his... Edge has done his thing, so. Well, he's he's doing the, the, la- the husband. The last wife. time Edge main event at WrestleMania was the one they left for another company, so. That did happen. <laughs> He's um, doing the, the husband wife match. So, yeah. All right. Here's here's another part of the um. Of the, here's a couple of prop bets. These are kind of fun because these will be fun for you guys to answer. Um, you can bet they, they give you two names, mm-hmm. and you place a wager on which one you think will last the longest. Who will have the better finishing position? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh. So one of the props is a Moss or AJ Styles. Who lasts the longest? AJ. AJ. Moss. AJ. You know, because the big guy, be like a gang elimination over. on the AJ. AJ, easy. 
AJ will last Big longer. guys get ganged up on sometimes. I don't know if I could trust. Uh... And, and big guys don't have longevity in the room, right? Like a mock, in, like what? A mock is going to be like the around, number. He comes in at around five 18. or six or something like that. No, he comes in at eighteen, eliminates seven guys, and then gets eliminated by the rest. Or he does like the "I own the ring" thing, where he get, ends up alone, and they you know slowly trickle in more. People. And then Walter comes out, and, and then Walter him. comes out. Yeah, that, I don't know who <laughs> that is. Rock, never heard of him. Uh, okay, here's another one: uh, Damian Priest or Kevin Owens. 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 Owens could win. Owens. Yeah. You know, think like Damian Priest has like Final Four kind of uh, guy that they would like to leave. Baron in Corbin has one Final Four energy. He might. As he Hatton might. Corbin, do you, Mad Mike? But I think they're too parallel, and I think in the end, Owen, Owens would have a. If if it would be the same, he would have a slight edge, being longer. Uh -huh. uh, they're very okay. similar. All right, here, here's another one for the men, and then I got at least one to do for the women. Uh, Dominic Mysterio or Rey Mysterio? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Dominic. Uh, Dominic Guerrero. Dominic Guerrero. <laughs> Dominic. Rudo. Yeah. yeah. Dominic. Okay. He's right. his poppy. Two for the women's match, and then I'll let you guys go. Um, best finisher, Rhea Ripley or Nikki A.S.H.? Rhea. Rhea. I'm guessing Nikki. Yeah. Nah, Rhea gets that Iron Woman spot this year. Yeah, I, I could bet. see that. Um, all right, last one. Brie Bella or Nikki Bella? Ooh. Nikki. 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 It's always Nikki. Mm -hmm. Brie. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go. No, in incredibly, Nikki. incredibly, they're both Nikki. doing so sometimes on some of these. There's an underdog and there's an overdog. On this one, they are they're even on both of them. Same odds for both oh. of them, which I find ridiculous. Nikki would, would definitely be, be more like their husband in another longer. company. That's it would be Nikki because <laughs> WB likes to have grudges, so they would bury Bray uh, because Matt, of Matt, I have a question. The, are there any forbidden door odds on either Rumble? Like, like, like for a, someone like, to show up who's not supposed yeah, to like, be there? Yeah, like Cody or Okada or, you know. No, it doesn't get too okay. wild. The wildest ones they have names for... In the men's, they have they have odds for Walter. They have odds for Braun Breaker. They have odds for Gable Steveson. Uh, they have odds for Johnny Gargano. Okay. That might be a very forbidden door pick after uh, Wednesday. We'll see what happens on that Non-forbidden door, uh, but what are the odds on Mad Cat Moss? I don't think we have odds for Mad Cat. I think How? We have odds for Happy Corbin, but Mad Cat deserves some odds. Cause, all right, let's see what... Anything wacky for the women? Nothing gets too weird on the women's side. Oh, I was going to ask you, what about Liv Morgan? Liv Morgan's at plus 1,600. That's my but pick. Kind of like top 10 favorite. What's Mickey? Uh, Mickey, 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 Mickey. Mickey. That's, a, that's an interesting one. Oh, I'm sorry. I just found Trish Stratus. She's at plus 5,000. Okay. That's kind of like middle of the pack. Uh, okay. Mickey's at plus 6,600. So you can get better odds on... You get longer odds on Mickey than Trish Stratus to win. That makes kind of, sense. Kind though. of makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. Actually, um, Liv Morgan, that's a good flyer because you could like. There's a story with Liv go winning and going after Charlotte because Charlotte was the one that told Liv to change. Hmm. There's a story there. Like that's that's extremely long term booking and really nah, really thought out. So I just figured unlikely, she'd beat Becky, but... man. I just figured she'd win and beat Becky and finally knock Becky off. All right, here's one last. Can I do one last one? Yeah. One last interesting one. One very interesting Johnny Knoxville prop bet for the Rumble. What will be Johnny Knoxville's entry number? You can either go over 15 and a half entry or under 15 and a half entry. Number one. Under. See, He's number one. He's I'm number 18. You, he is like an early Rumble guy, right? It's like He's 13. There, like, 13. It's Drew Matt, Carey, oh, right? On. Like very early yeah. and just... Send him in and does his thing, right? I see two scenarios. Either he's number one or he's number 30 and never makes it because Brock Lesnar annihilates him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my yes. gosh. What, what if that is, like, his whole, like, well, that... that if it's the a, whole big That stunt. implies a lot of foresight, so... I guess we'll see. I mean, he's, of a, course he's, you a get first, usual, like, he's a first third entertainment for the Rumble. Yeah, you know, that, that, I kind of that, feel that opening gear, that first third where you need to transition into like the 
there's a lot of people in the middle, you know, before they start yeah. really, and then they start whittling down and kicking in the end of the third act. He's a first act rumble participant, I believe. I feel the same way. I feel like that's a the under 15 and a half is a very safe bet on uh, Johnny Knoxville. And then, of mm-hmm. course, you get into will he eliminate Sami Zayn? How many eliminations yeah. will oh. he have? And you just, they won't let me parlay, you know, plus 0.5 eliminations. Yes, eliminates Sami Zayn. But, mm-hmm. um, you know, maybe they'll throw us a, I don't know. Part of me almost thinks that maybe they're going to throw us a curveball and he's not going to eliminate anybody. And that maybe Sami will get his revenge at the Rumble. You guys feel like that's a possibility? I mean, I he think, has gotten Sammy at every turn. That storyline is going to show up. That's, I think he eliminates two people, one of them being himself. Well, Will they count that as a self-elimination? Yeah, they've counted hmm. it before in the past. Interesting. Like, I, I have a feeling Sammy. I have a feeling he comes in, he takes out Sammy Zane, and Sammy's Sammy's like the last one in the ring right at that point, and then like Walter. Or a moss, or yeah. or something like that, and and Johnny's like, you know what? I'm good. Thank you very much. And he, and he hops over the top rope. And very much, uh, yeah. Like the, this whole thing is like has like Drew Carey um undertones to it for me. Mm-hmm. I, for those of you old enough to remember that one, mm-hmm. and um, Knoxville's the serious one to to play correct with everybody. Mm-hmm. Like he's not. You know who be, I? Like, you know who I'd love to like see in the Rumble? and get. You get jammed in the throat by Umaga because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing in that ring. You know who I'd love to see a legitimate <laughs> shot in the Rumble, but it'll never happen? I'd love to see Stephen Amell in the Rumble. Mm. Yes, please. Like, I, th- I think that was just fun. Because mm-hmm. he could be in there and he can mix it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, so that could be interesting, the, uh... but that's a little dip into the world of uh, pro wrestling gambling, my favorite new hobby. So um, we're going to see. I got five so, on Charlotte. So um, <laughs> come on, Queen, don't let me down. Get out of here, Charlotte. Come on. No, you, no, you want her to stay in there, Matt. Stay in there, I mean, Charlotte. Yes. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. So uh, we have some contests here for our participants coming up here for the Rumble. Some little uh, bonuses that they could win or uh, some punishments that they could win. Etc. Like that, right, uh, right, Matt. I mean, there's that... always the risk of punishment, so you got. Yes, so gotta um, I have out. a few here that I think uh, would work out real well, and uh, anybody who's listening who is a participant or would like to get in on this rumble business, uh, send an email over to Good Times, as that's at Hi. Wrestling Mayhem Show, right? Good I'm times. Compo- I'm composing it right now. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com for your entries. I have here seven seven items. Oh boy. Six uh six of them you get to have input to, and the seventh one is a rather unique one for all the participants who email us. So uh for a prize, a winner for the Males Rumble. Put it in. Who do you think is going to win the male Royal Rumble? Mm -hmm. And we also have who you think is going to win the female Royal Rumble. And another one we have is the longest time in the ring for a male. Mm -hmm. That is a number answer. Who do you, you know, who's going to have the longest time? Not who, but what is going to be the longest time? We what number entrant is what we're giving you, right? No, no. This is total time. Like if Rey Mysterio oh, right, right, right. is in there for 60 minutes and you said 59 minutes, mm-hmm. you would win. It's Price is Right rules, so you're picking a time. Mm-hmm. One wrestler is going to be in there for a long time. How long do you think that wrestler is going to be in there? One for the male rumble, one for the female rumble. And uh, most eliminations – uh, who's gonna have the most? Like, what's what's the number? Most eliminations. Price is right rules. Uh, they're gonna be both combined because you don't have to say like, yeah. You know, so most it. eliminations overall. Yeah, most rumbles. eliminations overall. So like, hey, uh, I think somebody's gonna get eight. Johnny Knoxville. Oh, gonna, so wait, are we playing number of eliminations? Number, or number, 
number. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's it's a little it's a little easier than saying I think I think Omos is going to get seven eliminations. Like now, just say seven. That way, if somebody in the male gets eight or somebody in the female gets eight, you're still covered. Okay. So most eliminations, the number we're looking for a number for most eliminations, and this one does not pertain to the Royal Rumble matches. We wanted I wanted to have a little something that. Uh, pertain to the rest of the pay-per-view who do you think is going to have the longest entrance in any of the other matches from when the music hits to when the music stops when they're in the ring who's going to have the longest entrance a couple matches to choose a couple participants and a couple matches to choose from true so and then the last one, if you email us with those uh, those numbers for your picks, you will have a number assigned to you. It'll be 1 through 30. Uh, if your number wins the Rumble, you're going to get a special prize. Hmm. If your number manages to win both Rumbles, you'll get an even bigger prize. Mm -hmm. So by luck of the draw, if you get 23 and the 23rd entrant in the male rumble wins the rumble, you get a prize. If it's a 23rd entry in both of them and they win the rumble, you get a huge prize. Or if, you know, your number wins the women's rumble, you get one. So, But that's a little fun thing for you coming in. We'll give you a number and then we'll tell you the number, of course. That way you can watch the rumble as if you had betted on it, like Matt here, just sitting on the edge of your seat going, oh boy, I wonder who's going to be uh, number 10. That's my guy. Don't let number me down, Char Char. Come on, girl. Let's go. And then go. it's Johnny Let's Knox, and you're like, number 10's not going to be my guy. <laughs> so that'll give I, you a I little just something. I just sent in my picks already. All right. There you sent go. Sent them in. So easy. Just like that. It's very easy so to send them. We hope to get a couple different entries from uh, from a couple, couple different people. We'll give them their numbers. They can watch with like like they're at the dog track. I've got my papers <laughs> here, <laughs> watching the entries, seeing who's seeing who's going to go go the longest or who's going to get the most eliminations and such. And and we're gonna have a good time Saturday night. Mm -hmm. It's always a great time. Yeah, the Rumble is one of the one of the finer points of the year. Whether you watch WWE all year long or, or not, it's always just fun to pop in and watch a rumble. Yep. So, and I believe that's it. That'll mm -hmm. wrap up talking mayhem mania. What's up? Week four of twenty some, perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mainstream Matt, we thank you for tuning, uh, for, for joining us here for Talking Mayhem Mania. Always uh, enjoy having you on the show. Chad, I say this every week. You've done the world a great service by taking upon yourself this huge endeavor. I thank you. Your country thanks you. The entire Mayhem universe thanks you. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Yes. Pace yourself. Only 20 more weeks to go. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's why I've been playing nice, uh, but it will get <laughs> a little meaner as we go. And I'd like to also thank those who joined in and made their picks and voiced their concerns, thoughts, questions, et cetera, et cetera. Mad Mike, Ronnie Starks, and George, I believe, is still on the couch there. So thank uh, you, Ronnie, gentlemen. it's almost Thursday now. Yeah, it's almost, it's almost Thursday. Thursday, Wednesday. <laughs> Happy Thursday, everyone. Happy Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. You're all wonderful. I can't wait to come back next week for another round of Mayhem Mania. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.